Hello friends, I hope you're well and welcome to today's episode on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be going over a bunch of sample teams ready for you guys to utilize and use going into Series 6, which will be starting tomorrow. So the main reason why I've done this is because I'm actually going to be away for a week starting today. I'm um, not going to be able to get any content up on the channel and it's a little bit of a shame, especially when we're going into a new series. It's kind of the time where I want to pump as much new content out as possible. Possible. So last week I've been working really hard on putting teams together for you. We've already got six rental teams uh, ready to go and I will put those up on the screen uh, before the end of the episode so you'll be able to grab those as well and um, to try out going into the new series which starts um, tomorrow like I say the 1st of September on the ranked battle ladder. We're going to have that ban list which is the first time we're ever going to have uh, experienced a ban list kind of coming into effect in the VGC format in the competitive play. Player. so it's going to be very interesting it's brand new to us all and hopefully uh by doing this with these teams it kind of at least gives you guys something to pick up to start off with and jump into the format and start learning it because that's the biggest key to getting your head around any new format and developing and getting better at it so i'm really hoping you find all of this content useful this past week and uh, hopefully you have some success with these teams as well so it's going to be a very quick one today as i say i'm just going to go through the teams that we've got uh, available to us some of them have been played on the channel already um like this this lapras gmax lapras um gudra team and i'll link these videos where they have been featured already on the channel so you can go back in the top right hand corner click on them and go and check those videos out if you'd like to obviously they're in playlists on the channel if you want to just check them out after the video as well so we've got the uh, the lapras comfy team here we've got um the gmax hatterene this is a team that we built on stream last friday as a collective and the episode will be going up tomorrow with that so if you'd like to see the the in-depth team building that we did on friday's stream then you can check that out on tomorrow's episode of the channel um, and then we've got the duran team that's already been featured as well we've got a, a gigalith team here with uh dusclops rotom it's a bit generic with the uh with the arcanine cover knight and comfy here uh, so you've got two ways to kind of set your trick room and proc the weakness policy there on the gigalith uh, so that's a nice a nice build um, and then another uh, gmax lapras variant this time with talon flame this is one that i really like because we're kind of going off a weakness policy crocodile i feel like drake result is going to be quite big and prevalent in the format so having something like crocodile to protect lapras and it works super well with the talon flame where you can um, utilize it with the tailwind uh, is super nice and then you've got the comfy as well it supports both the the lapras with the trick room and the floral healing as well as the crocodile with the uh, the priority giga drain or uh, uh, draining kiss if you want there i mean you can always go uh, ally switch on comfy but it's not really something i like to play um, or promote but it's up to you guys and then Amoongus Conkledur on the end uh, so you've got Conkledur there is a nice trick room uh, sweeper as well as a kind of Lapras as well that can operate in trick room depending on what you're going up against the Lapras in this team is a little bit speedier so you'd have to be going up against very fast teams maybe if they set the the tailwind up you can get a trick room and then utilize Lapras there but Lapras in this team obviously life orb meant to be kind of predominantly going down a tailwind route so and we've got this nice rain team it's kind of a mix between rain and perish trap so this one's there and all the pace for these teams guys are going to be down in the description below there's going to be a list of every single paste they'll all be labeled up properly so you'll be able to just go over to those links grab the teams and then take them forward and use them yourself um okay so that this this one's a nice team as well so there's this uh it kind of uh reminiscent of sejan park uh, back in 2013 at Worlds where you use a very similar build uh, with very similar Pokemon. So uh, this one's down there as well for you. More Trick Room orientated with the Jealous in there. And you've got this Duraludon team. We featured that on the channel just yesterday. Um, and then the Como. Well, this isn't... I don't know why we've labeled Como. I think it had Como in to start with. But uh, primarily a Lolan Persian team here. So 
uh, that will be labeled up correctly we've seen the um weakness policy riperia charizard team so that's there then we've got also a talent flame Primarina, Amoongus, Duraludon, Draco Zolt. So you got a Draco Zolt call there as well. Another option with this team, I think over the Scrafty, if you throw in um, something like Grimmsnarl here, especially behind the screens with their Draco Zolt and Duraludon, it makes it very difficult to break those two down if you've got screen support. So that's another option for this one. That'll be the Draco Zolt team. Uh, a PZ team, we've got to have a PZ team. It's a big threat going into this format. This is a really nice one, I feel. You've got the uh, support there with the Clefairy, and then you've got Trick Room on the PZ. So if you can get your Trick Room up and get Conkledore on the field, uh, it's going to be very strong. I think Conk's going to be an extremely good Pokemon in this format uh, going forward. Then the rest of the team made up with um, the Rotom Heat, Gastrodon, and then we've got Corvin Knight on there as well to make the rest of that team up. Um, and then we've got a nice sand core with lichen rock obviously again with the gigalith the weakness policy there um arcanine amoongus and primarina making the the last few pokemon there up you could also throw ferrothorn in there so this is what i mean like there's lots of things that you can change on these teams but it's a good basis for you to kind of run off uh g max hatterene team and we've got a Dragology team there with uh, Lola Ninetales, Urshifu. Uh, the Colossal team already featured on the channel, but one of my favorites as well with the Sneasel there. Uh, Hydreigon, another team. Uh, then you've got a kind of a Trick Room Tailwind switch there between Talonflame, Rhyperia, uh, Sylveon. Um, it's just a solid call. Uh, that you can kind of take advantage of and hopefully that's good but that rounds off all the teams that we've got paced for uh, like i say it's a good collection to get you started and that's the main thing this is what it's meant to be a good way to give you a mix of pokemon that are probably going to be quite prevalent in the format and some builds to start playing with because there's nothing worse than starting a new format and sitting in front of your builder and just thinking right what am i going to build around and you waste maybe a day half a day thinking about what you can play around at least this way you've got a bunch of pokemon uh, teams put together already for you to just dive in test them all out see what you like and then go from there and that is hopefully going to be uh, a big help to a lot of you and if that is the case then i've done my job with this video like i say i want to keep it quite short today i've just covered a few of the teams um and hopefully they're beneficial for you to you all uh, like i said they're down in the description below and um well that's about it really so uh if you do try them out though do let me know if you have any success with them if you've got any questions about anything in the team builds as well um let me know i am obviously going to be away for a week so i'm not going to be around as much for comments but i will still check them out and try and drop in at least once every day to pick those up so if i do take a little bit longer to get back to any questions you have don't worry i'm not ignoring i will get back to you as soon as i can but um yeah so friends i hope this preparation or this little week stint that we've had preparation for series six has been useful we found it beneficial and um, if there's anything you would like to see featured when i get back do let me know down in the comment section below but we will be hitting series six super hard when i get back i'll be streaming on the monday night that we're back which is the 7th of september so if you want to come across to that uh we'll be actually on the rank battle ladder as well which would be super fun uh, it'd be lovely to see you guys over there so I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll look forward to catching up with you all very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves. And bye-bye.